So let's now get down to business. And in just a few hours' time, the Federal Reserve, America's central bank, will be making its latest decision on interest rates. It's pretty clear that the cost of borrowing will go up again, but the question is, by how much? Our North America business correspondent, Samira Hussain, has more from New York. In the United States, the cost of living has hit the highest level in more than 40 years. Everything is more expensive. In the last year, the cost of fruit and vegetables is up more than 8%. Today, a pound of beef is $5. Last year, it was $4.40. The price of petrol has skyrocketed by 60%. And this is not a uniquely American problem. Prices are soaring around the world. The Federal Reserve, like other central banks, is raising rates to curb inflation. Here on Wall Street, most people believe the policymakers will raise rates by 0.75 percent. But there are those who believe the Fed may adopt a more aggressive policy and raise rates by a full percentage point. Such is the urgency of combating rising costs. As the International Monetary Fund examines the outlook for global growth, it believes bringing down inflation is top priority. Central banks need to stay the course and bring inflation back to central bank targets. Do you think the United States was late to the game in terms of recognizing how persistent inflation was, is, and in raising interest rates? Well, listen, I think everyone was late to the game. We were uh, uh, expecting inflation to be more of a short-lived problem than it proved to be. What we realize is that it's a combination of factors, sort of the perfect storm for inflation. We get supply disruption, strong demand, and then on top of that, uh, an energy, uh, energy price shocks. All of these things are pushing inflation outside of the comfort zone. That is what the Federal Reserve will try to do, get inflation back into the comfort zone. While 2% may be the goal, it could take a while to get there. Samir Hussein, BBC News, New York.